Next in our custom apps is uh, a revenue report. Now, a revenue, the revenue report used to be part of the core uh, Mixmail functionality, uh, but in recent changes, it's been thrown into you know the sort of custom applications section here. Um, and this report really hasn't changed very much uh, in, in, in the last little bit, maybe mostly UI changes. Uh, but effectively, you can take some of your data, and it gives you some uh, revenue metrics out of the box, you know, number of paying customers, average revenue per paying user, total revenue, and so on. Uh, to track this, you do have to track it in a special way. So there is a, a couple special um, functions and people properties for tracking revenue that they have to be used. So these numbers aren't just pulled out of, out of thin air. Once you do, in here, you can then you know filter users. Same thing, right? We might want to um, say, uh, you know, same. We've been using country a lot, right? So we do a breakdown by country, see what how that changes, right? You see how lifetime value changes over time, and so on, right? So we have a, a few options. Uh, this report's actually our old mixed panel report, so this haven't actually been updated, uh, the look of them anyway. Uh, now, what's interesting about this report is that it does a lot of things out of the box. Uh, you could actually also replicate a lot of these things in the insights report, uh, which would be my guess why maybe mixed panel is looking to, to sunset this report eventually. You know, insights is quite flexible. And you could do a lot of the same calculations and metrics in more or less the same format, or even maybe an even more flexible format. But for now, it's available. And if it's something that, that you're looking at some specific revenue metrics, you, you can use this report. One thing to know here is that you can see that this report is actually not supported uh, for dashboards, which we know can be a big deal uh, when, when trying to organize all your mixed funnel data, uh, which is why probably if you want to have some kind of revenue metric, where it's like you know average revenue per paying user as a trend, you're likely going to have to use something like insights to create that and then add it to a dashboard. Uh, you wouldn't be able to get it from here into there. Um, so an option, uh, but there is uh, a few limits in how you can use this option.